Hello, my name is Michal Dombrowski. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Olympics. Olympics is a competitive web through gaming protocol and I want to introduce, uh, introduce this new opportunity of creating compete to earn games. With, uh, with Olympics as a protocol, as a distribution platform, as a set of tools. But first of all, we should ask ourselves an important question. Why even connect games with crypto? That's something I've been, ask, I've been asked many times over the years as an experienced game developer. It seems that over the years, the answer has been cha changing quite, quite a lot. It all started with the first connection of Web3 and games with the play to earn narrative with games like Axie Infinity, which actually incentivized players to play by giving away free tokens. And that obviously has worked for a while, but has not been sustainable. And sustainability has been the major pain point of Web3 gaming. Later, we've had the narrative of building metaverses. And during that time, as well as during the play to earn era, we've been actually busy building Olympics as a platform and protocol for competitive games. And right now we're at the perfect spot, perfect time spot of actually launching and scaling it up. The compete to earn narrative is now heavily talked about in the crypto community. And that's something that's very much native to our beliefs of esports, of competition in esports, as well as what blockchain can actually bring to the table in gaming. Competitiveness has always been the, part, the core part of gaming in esports, as well as other types of games where people are craving to be better at something, where they're craving to improve their skills, to compete against one another, to actually be better than other players. And that's what Olympics actually enables. We want to make Web3 native part of gaming. We want to use this as a technology instead of as a hype mechanism to make gaming actually better and more engaging. Remember the time when you last played poker and if you play with any money involved, even small amounts, it makes the experience so much better, so much more engaging and actually so much more fun. And that's the nat very native and very um, intuitive way of bringing Web3 to gaming and, and of using this as a technology uh, to, make, to make gaming actually better. This is what Olympics enables in a nutshell. For you as, a, as developers, it means that you can keep focusing on creating engaging gameplay. That's what, you, that's what you're great at and that's what you love to do, right? So using Olympics as a protocol, you can bring those experiences to millions of players out there and, to make, and you can make your gameplay more engaging using meta mechanisms that we bring. However, the great technology that we bring, every great technology is nothing with a great distribution to actually reach players, to reach users. That's the other part of the protocol that we're bringing. We're not targeting EVM users, we're not targeting crypto audiences. Our goal is to bring games that use Web3 to every player. The gaming market is orders of magnitude bigger than, than the crypto market right now in terms of users. That's what we want to bring, we want to use the social aspects of gaming, social aspects of competitions in esports to actually bring Web3 gaming to players by bringing fun experiences, by bringing your games, your amazing games to them. One of those ways that we want to distribute games is, is Ton and Telegram. That's a platform with over 900 million monthly active users. That's a huge opportunity right now on the market, one of the biggest, and it's comparable, in, in our view, it's comparable to what actually was out there when in the early days of the App Store and, and iPhone. It's crazy to think that one can actually miss it. So we just have to be out there and you, with your games, we want to bring your games to the users on Telegram using mini apps, using game features that Telegram and Ton have, making those, making those interconnected. Having said all that, you're, I guess you're wondering what Olympics actually is. And to make it very simple and intuitive, we, we try to split and think of Olympics as built of three pillars. One of them is of course the game development toolkit, uh, the one that you'll be most familiar with and you'll most use in your, in your daily development of games. 
The second one is the, uh, is the player's cockpit and is the uh, retention mechanisms for players and engagement mechanism for players. We're bringing our experience from gaming, from free to play, to actually build mechanisms on the platform level to retain players, to make them, to, to make them discover new games and to, to keep them engaged. And third of all, last but not least, the pillar that is connected to distribution, to make it as easy for you to reach millions of players on Telegram and beyond. Coming back to the first one, so the development toolkit that we're bringing. That's the one that you'll be most using in your daily development. So it's a set of SDKs for Unity that actually enables you to build secure gameplay with ease, regardless of if you're doing single multiplayer. Remember that when there is any competition involved, especially when there is any financial reward, people will be incentivized to cheat. And knowing how esports struggle with cheaters on a daily basis, we want to make this as easy as possible for you with no additional overhead to actually build games that use our features of Oracle, of verifiable replays, of server authority. So bringing all those best practices from esports to your games with no additional overhead. And it's just too good not to use. Second of all, everything is by default integrated with the blockchain. So every gameplay that is hosted on Olympics platform is delivered to the blockchain and verified on chain so that the security of gameplays, gameplays is there and that there is no financial action brought to players without the verification that the gameplay is legit and that the players actually, um, actually entered the, the competition. The second part of Olympics I've mentioned is the player's onboarding and engagement platform that your game will be visible on. So players will be incentivized to discover your game, they will be earning points, so we're bringing all those mechanisms known, known for from free-to-play games, uh, making them engaging on the platform level in sort of this meta gameplay on top of every competitive game built inside Olympics. And last but not least, the one that's, that's very important and that we're heavily focusing on is the distribution platform. When you create your game, of course you want to play it. That's why you do it. You, you love creating games. We love games as well. But in order to, for a game to be successful, it has to have many, many players. And with Olympics, you can distribute easily on platforms like Ton, on the web, with no additional overhead, with a few clicks of a buttons, of some buttons in Unity, you can distribute your game, make it instantly available for develop for players on Telegram and beyond. And that's what we're releasing, our Ton SDK, which is the part of the broader toolset that we're bringing. Something that you'll be using heavily is the Ton SDK that you download and you use in Unity while creating your game which by default makes it server authoritative, which is the best practice known for uh, from the esports market, which has never been available to small studios before because of the difficulty and overhead of actually creating such experiences. Right now we're bringing that to every developer by default. Of course, the features like in-game Oracle, like blockchain game, game results, game metadata delivery, automated matchmaking, and many more features that natively integrate tap into Ton and Telegram. That's all, all available out of the box if you're creating the game using our Ton SDK toolkit. And that's what Olympics does in a nutshell. Our mission is to connect millions of users, both crypto and non-crypto, that are out there on Telegram and other platforms with you, the developers, the millions of developers that know how to use Unity and that want to create engaging and fun gameplays using competition and that want to discover new ways to monetize in a time on the market where free-to-play is so difficult as right now. We want to make those experiences, those monetization uh, way, those new ways to monetize as well as new ways to reach players, actually engaged players. We want to make it available to you by default. So you can keep focusing on what you love 
and what you're great at, creating engaging gameplay with no additional technical or distribution overhead. That's it from me. Thank you for, for listening. I hope you have a great experience using Olympics and I'll see you around soon. Thank you.